1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornia, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. Oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. Uh, excuse me, sir?
I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? ¡Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Damn. por detrás. Why are these people? What are they planning? Chainsaw. Oh, la campana. Es hora de rezar. Tenemos que irnos. Lord Sattler. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay. I have only one very important question. You got a smoke? Got gum. Perfect. The big cheese. What? humans. Let us give you our power. <laughs> Soon, you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. one hole and into another you want to tell me what's going on here americano see now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world oh hey easy whoever you are <sighs> name's leon came here looking for this girl seen her what are you supposed to be a cop or something nah you don't look the type maybe Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Want to start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. <laughs> And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But 
Now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite the ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line, nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey boy, I'm not bad. Do something, cop! After you! It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. Nuestro jefe se curará de la rata. Y si la plaga es mucho mejor que la peste. <risa> 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 Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. What? Same blood.
Leon, it's been six hours since our last transmission. I was starting to get worried. Don't you mean lonely? Anyway, I started to feel dizzy, and then I guess I must have lost consciousness. Lost consciousness? Maybe that has some connection to what the village chief was talking about. Hmm. Can't say. But I'm all right now. I'm gonna continue my mission. Take it easy. No! Get away! Calm down. Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the President's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's right. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. I'll take the girl. Who are you? If you must know, my name is Osman Sadler. The master of this fine, religious community. What do you want? To demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power, of course. No longer will the United States think they can police the world forever. So, we kidnap the president's daughter in order to give her our power, and then send her back. No. Leon, I think they shot something in my neck. What did you do to her? We just planted her a little gift. Oh, there's going to be one hell of a party when she returns home to her loving father. <laughs> but before that... I thought I might bargain with the president for some donation. Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church up and running. Faith in money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Oh, I believe I forgot to tell you that we gave you the same gift. When I was unconscious. Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contributions. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppets. Involuntarily, you'll do as I say. I'll have total control over your minds. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? <laughs> <laughs> 
Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. This mess, we can get out of it. Leon, I have some bad news. I'd rather not hear it. Well, I'm afraid I have to tell you anyway. We've lost contact with the chopper. Someone must have shot it down, though we can't determine who. Great. We're prepping another chopper for you. Meanwhile, I want you to head towards the extraction point. Got it. Hate to say it, but we're sandwiched, all right. Quick, in that cabin. <laughs> Leon. Small world, eh? Well, I see that the president's equipped his daughter with ballistics too. How rude! And I don't believe there's any relevance with my figure and my standing. Who are you? Oh, oh, excuse me, your highness. Perhaps the young lady might want to introduce herself first before asking someone his name. Her name's Ashley Graham, the president's daughter. Is she... well, you know... Don't worry. She's cool. Eh, never mind. There's supposed to be some kind of obvious symptom before you turn into one of them anyway. Ashley, upstairs. Okay, it's game time. Vamos. Looks like they're backing off. So, what do we do now? The bridge I crossed to get here is out, so I guess we have no choice but to keep moving. I forgot something. You guys go on ahead. Lewis. You better stay outside. Ashley, go hide. Yeah. to Luego. On the other side of the bridge. Yeah. I've got something for you guys. Uh, what? Oh, shit! I must have dropped it when I was running away from them. Dropped what? A drug that'll stop your convulsions. Look, I know you're carriers. You've been coughing up blood, right? Yeah. And you? Yes. Damn it! The eggs have hatched. 
We don't have much time. What are you talking about? I have to go back and get it. Let me come with you. No. You stay here with Leon. He is better with the ladies. I'm sure. Why are you... It makes me feel better. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> I was starting to wonder when you might notice us. Who are you? Me llamo Ramon Salazar, the eighth castellan of this magnificent architecture. I have been honored with the prodigious power from the great Lord Sadler. I've been expecting you, my brethren. No thanks, bro. My, my, we've got a feisty one. If you care for your own well-being, I suggest you surrender yourself and simply become our hostage. Or, Mr. Scott, you can give us the girl because you're not worth a penny, I'm afraid. You can die. I'm never turning into one of them. Never! Got that right. We'll find a cure. <coughs> you alright? I'm fine! Just leave me alone! Ashley, wait! <gasps> for you. Hunnigan, what happened? The transmission got cut off. <laughs> Salazar, how'd you... We've jacked the line. We didn't want you telling everyone any unnecessary information. Where's Ashley? Ah, oh, so she fell into one of our wonderful traps. We'll make sure we find her. Don't you worry about her. Oh, yes. I let our miserable insects out for some exercise down in the sewer. Thanks. That should keep me company, because boredom kills me. I look forward to our next encounter. In another life. What a pleasant surprise. But I'm afraid it's Ashley we need. Not you, Mr. Kennedy. If you don't need me, then get off my back, old man. <gasps> Did you say old man, Mr. Kennedy? It might come as a surprise, but I'm only 20 years old. So you're just like all the others? A puppet of the parasites? Surely you don't think I'm the same as those diminutive ganados. The parasites, las plagas, are slaves to my will. I have absolute control. Well, I really don't give a damn. Rain or shine, you're going down. Get rid of our American friend. Put your hands where I can see them. Sorry, but following a lady's lead just isn't my style. Put them up now. Huh. Bit of advice, try using knives next time. Works better for close encounters. Leon. Long time no see. Ada. So it is true. True? About what? You, working with Wesker. I see you've been doing your homework. Why, Ada? What's it to you? Why are you here? Why'd you show up like this? <laughs> See you around. Ada! Leon! 
I got it. I have the sample. You serve me no purpose. Sadler! My boy Salazar will make sure you follow the same fate. Stay with me, Lewis. I am a researcher hired by Sadler. He found out what I was up to. <laughs> Don't talk. Here. It should suppress growth of the parasite. The sample. Sadler took it. You have to get it back. Lewis! Lewis! I was... Oh, don't worry about it. Come on, let's move on. Oh, what a touching moment we have here. All spoiled thanks to your interruption. Why don't you do us all a favor and leave before the audience gets pissed off? <laughs> You're nothing but an extra in my script, so don't get too carried away. Your biggest scene is over. I don't ever remember being a part of your crappy script. Well then, why don't you show me what a first-class script is like through your own actions? Scratcher, I'll break your bones. First, we shall see if you can make it this far. I'll be waiting. Shit. Ashley. Leon! <laughs> Mr. Kennedy. Don't you know when it's time to throw in the towel? No! Leon! Hmm. Where's the satisfying sound of one's impalement? Don't fall for this old trick. Right hand comes off? Hmm. Say whatever you please. Die, you worm!
could join us, Mr. Scott Kennedy. You again. The sacred rite that's about to begin at this tower shall endow the girl with magnificent power. She will join us, become one of us. This is no ritual, it's terrorism. Isn't that a popular word these days? Not to worry. We've prepared a special ritual for you. Respects towards your impressive and stubborn will, Mr. Kennedy. Guess after this, there'll be one less to worry about. It seems that Salazar is having difficulty taming the American pig. Salazar had his chance. Krauser, go get the girl. Oh, and, uh, dispose of this swine while you're at it. Consider it done. Need a ride, handsome? <laughs> okay. Business to take care of. See you later. <sighs> Women. I hate to break it out to you, but Salazar is dead. Yes, it seems that way. Sadler, why don't you give up and let Ashley go home? Perhaps you are disillusioned with overconfidence. Just because you killed my small-time subordinate. Sadler, you're small-time. Oh. <laughs> Rive in my cage of torment, my friend. Ah! Ashley. You okay? 
Come on, let's get out of here. Looks like this is it. Ugh, oh, it stinks. Sure does. No way, Leon. Way? <gasps> <gasps> Are you out of your mind? I knew you'd be fine if you landed on your butt. You... What is this? Come on, let's go. I can feel them growing ever so strongly inside you. Sadler! <laughs> Perhaps you can resist, but you cannot disobey. Now, come to me, Ashley. What's the news on our friend, Leon? He's not making it easy. The sample? Sadler's got it. It seems he sniffed out our little game. Perfect. Just so we understand each other clearly, I don't trust you, nor does Wesker. If you try to do anything clever, I will kill you. Is that so? You know, I met Wesker long before you. We'll see soon enough if you did. Yeah, we'll see. I told you. You're the one who kidnapped Ashley. You got John Quick, as expected. After all, you and I both know where we come from. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> the sample Sadler developed, that's all. <laughs> Leave Ashley out of this. Oh, I needed her to buy Sadler's trust in me. Like you, I'm American. You got her involved just for that? in the red dress. Looks like we have the upper hand here. <laughs> you may be able to prolong your life, but it's not like you can escape your inevitable death, is it? You knew each other? More or less. 
Maybe it's about time you told me the reason why you're here? Maybe some other time. Enjoy the reunion with your old friend? As a matter of fact, I did. Wonderful. I wouldn't want my special guests on the island feeling unattended. Guess I'm supposed to thank you, right? Ah, I have an idea. Since you're here, why don't I introduce you to it? It should keep you busy. Can't remember the name, huh? A senior moment, perhaps. Oh, oh. <laughs> Enjoy the fun. So, you two are all hooked up now, is that it? Where's Ashley? Do you really want to know? She's beyond that gate. But you'll need three insignias to open it. What are you gonna do, Krauser? There's one in the north, and the other in the east. And let me guess, you got the last one. It pretty much means you're on a tight leash. Sounds like you thought this one out pretty well. What do you intend to do restoring Umbrella? To bring order and balance to this insane world of ours. A psycho like you can't bring order or balance. You don't seriously think a conservative mind can chart a new course for the world, do you? Return my appreciation. <laughs> what are you talking about? I thought he was with you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Did you really think I'd trust an American? To tell you the truth, I was contemplating how to get rid of him. But thanks to you, that's no longer necessary. You were just using him right from the start. Oh, I must hand it to you. You've demonstrated quite a bit of promise by killing Krauser. When your assimilation with Las Plagas is complete, I'll have you serve as my guard. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to decline your generous offer. I have prior engagements. <laughs> Enjoy your smart-mouthing while you can. Verifica la presión de esa válvula.
Thanks. When we get out of here, drinks are on me. Yeah, hey, I know a good bar. Make sure you're the next to go, Saddler. Ooh, I'm sorry, Leon. Saddler, you bastard! It's nothing to get all upset about. Don't tell me you've never swatted a bothersome fly. In essence, it's the same thing. What did you say? Insects' life doesn't compare to human lives. When you've acquired this power, you too will understand. Guess it's another good reason to get the parasite out of my body. <laughs> I wish you luck. Leon, you okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We have to get that parasite out of your body. Yeah. But before that, I gotta save Ashley. Fine. Let's split up. You'll soon harbor an awesome power. Yet it seems you would rather choose death. I'm taking Ashley back, whether you like it or not. Ah, oh, the audacity of youth. Hunk of junk? I, I don't know about this, Leon. There's only one way to find out. You operate. You sure you want to do this? Yeah. All right. Here goes nothing. feeling like a million bucks I thought you were gonna die all right guess I'm up
You okay? I don't know about you, but I think it's time we go home. Something's not right. Ashley, you stay here. Better try a new trick, cause that one's getting old. You okay? I've been better. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I think you know. The American prevailing is a cliché that only happens in your Hollywood movies. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, you entertain me. To show my appreciation, I will help you awaken from your world of clichés. Ada, stand back. Sorry, Leon. Hand it over. Ada, you do know what this is. Hmm. Don't worry. I'll take good care of it. Ada! Gotta go. If I were you, I'd get off this island, too. She really pushed it. Here, catch. Better get a move on. See you around. Very cute. Let's go home. Sounds like a great idea. Mission accomplished. Right, Leon? Not quite. I still have to get you home safe. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, um, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? So, who was that woman, anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave it at that. 